dude, it, it, what's really funny, <laughs> this is a really funny story, actually. So the, the music I made for this guy, right? He wanted like 8-bit music. So like, uh, you know, think like old JRPG music, right? Now, I didn't really know how to make that, but I had like a bunch of like 8-bit sound fonts, right? And uh, <laughs> so I attempted to make him a song, right? This was when I was back in Japan uh, many years ago, many years ago. This is when I was back in Japan and I made him his 8-bit RPG music, right? And I wanted to listen to it, you know, hear it out in the wild, listen to it on my headphones, right? Just see how it sounded right before I sent it over. Because he was going to pay me money. I think he was going to give me like 50 bucks for this or something, 50, 100 bucks. I can't remember. Well, I was with my Aussie friends, uh, my Aussie friend who was also a teacher in Japan, uh, who I talk about a lot. And we get in the car and we have to go, we have to drive an hour uh, to get to uh, we have like a like a monthly meeting or whatever we have to go to for for school, and we get in the car and I'm like, "Yo, bro, uh, yeah, I've been I've been working on like music commissions and and my buddy was always so supportive and like even to this day, like he he always indulges me like when I talk about my job and like you know uh, we, we just keep up to date with each other and like support each other like you know when he gets a job like because uh, he he was getting his masters and shit, um, you know, uh, you know. You got to be hype for your boys, right? You got you always got to be hype for your boys. That that's always like a big characteristic uh, I appreciate in friends. Like when something goes well in your life and you tell them about it and they're like, "Bro, fuck yeah, like that's sick, man." You know, it's always the like the weirdos that get like you know uh, weirdly jealous or something like that. But like me and me and that guy, like we we've always been like really supportive of each other, and I've all, I've always really really uh, appreciated that about him. And same with my buddy C Creech and you know all my all my good homies. You know, you support your boys, right? You're always supportive of your boys' new endeavors, new job shit. Well, uh, <laughs> he was asking me about what I was doing, like, because I was getting into VTubing, and he was he was really interested in it, right? He thought it was, like, a really cool uh, a really cool venture. And I was like, yeah, bro, like, uh, you know, I, I'm really excited, bro. I got, I got this commission. I got this commission. Uh, I'm making uh, uh, RPG music, RPG music for... Uh, uh, for this guy Romani, and it, yeah, it's gonna be really cool. And he was like, "All right, mate, we'll fucking put it on, put it on the fucking radio, mate. Let's fucking hear it." Now, guys, this is before I knew how to mix music. Okay, let me put it that way. Okay, this is before I realized that you needed to cut out the low end, right? And I'm doing this in like eight bit music sound font. Now, guys, this is a Japanese K car. To say that the sound system was complete dog shit, tin foil butt fuckery. Uh, would be an understatement, guys. The Muddy Bros. Yeah, that's right. The Muddy Bros. Is this going to get cringe? Yeah, it's going to get cringe. I After spending like 10 minutes trying to hook up to his like, uh, you know, tape player, tape player, like uh, plug in aux cord or whatever the fuck we were using at the time. Um, I finally got it playing. And dude, it sounded like shit. It sounded so fucking bad, bro. You couldn't even hear the melody. You couldn't hear the drums. You couldn't hear shits. And you know what my Aussie buddy says to me? He says, all right, mate, you getting paid for this? And I was like, yeah. And he was like, right on. Right on. And we just drove listening to static crunching sounds for an hour bro i'll never forget that moment man shout out to australia shout out to all australians man i love that fucking guy i love that fucking guy bro he gave me so much confidence in that moment because i knew it sounded like shit but he didn't say anything man he didn't say anything i, I was the only one that was saying negative stuff about it but i know trust me it sounded like shit guys it sounded awful it was genuinely so fucking bad Oh, sorry, sorry. It was so fucking bad. But you know what? He was so cool about it. Yeah, he was he was he was one of the coolest guys ever, man. I, I still talk to him a lot. I'm uh I'm always really thankful for his friendship, man. Do you do I still have it? Yeah, I do. I do. But you know what? I remixed it. I remixed it as soon as I got home because I was like, okay, you know what? Maybe I should look up some mixing shit on YouTube before I charge this guy money. <laughs> and I, I think I fixed it pretty decently. I, I think, you know, for my skill set at that time, it was it was it was worth 50 bucks. You know, I, I put I put time into it. I could probably find it. I could probably find it uh, on my old PC. Yeah. 
You probably thought it was shit, but didn't care because you were still getting that bag. Yeah, man. <laughs> That's how you know he's a true homie, man. Can I demix it? <laughs> Dude, I wish you guys could have been there because it's like, it's like, you know, when your like 12 year old brother shows you something he made on like garage band and you're just like nodding your head along like, oh yeah, that's, yeah, that's great, mate. Yeah. You getting paid for this, right? Yeah. Yeah, dude. Right on. Right on. <laughs> Bro, it was awesome, man. It was fucking awesome. Yeah. That, that's how you know you got a good buddy right there, man. F for real, bro. They'll be happy even if you're doing dumb shit. <laughs> Yeah, he's he's such a cool guy, man. Yeah, if you can't root on your boys, bro, I mean, who can you? We ain't making it out of the hood with this one. Oh, yo, we staying we staying in the Inaka with this one, bro. <laughs> Straight up, man. We staying in the countryside with this one, boys. We are not making it big time. Yeah, it was uh, it was it was really weird, like navigating those those first like early moments of stream, because like I, I would like you know, flip samples. I didn't know how to mix. I would just loop shit over and over. Like a lot of my first commissions were dog shit, man. I, I had to give some people their money back. Honestly, I was like, bro, I'm sorry. This is just bad. This is just a loop, bro. <laughs> this is just shit. Uh, but you know what? I, I, I try to learn as much as I can, but yeah, it was bad, bro. It was bad. I, I, I was happy doing it because like I was learning a lot and you know uh, I was able to just make like side money and shit and uh, I wanted to be really good. I, I really wanted to like go hard and learn a bunch of shit. Um, but uh, you know I, I had to go through some flops. I had to go through some flops you know with people not being happy with it and you know saying they wanted other shit or like hey maybe it's not working out. I mean I, ha I had a few commissions where it was just flat out like nah this ain't gonna work and i was like yo i'm so sorry man like I, I wish you the best and just you know give them their money back and that's it you know like it's uh it's just part of business man